Okay, I want to look real quickly at one, actually two examples from taxicab geometry looking at some triangles. And with these just two pretty simple examples, when you look at them, uh, they're kind of nice. They have, they're called the, these are lattice quadrilaterals. So all the, the vertices are lattice points. That means they have integer coordinates. They're at the corners on our, on our uh, grid here, if we have an integer space grid. And um, it turns out that, that we can disprove all possible uh, triangle congruence except for one very, very special case. So let's start by looking at these two triangles here, uh, ABC and DEF. Okay, ABC, DEF. With that correspondence, A to D, B to E, and C to F, we see that they have all, uh, a whole bunch of stuff in common, but they're not congruent. Uh, for example, they have all the purple sides are congruent. So in fact, uh, um, AC is 4, which you can clearly see, 1, 2, 3, 4, and BC is 4, and then FD and FE are both also 4, which you can count pretty easily there. So those are all the purples are congruent. And the angle in between is a right angle, which you can pretty clearly see there. Okay, so that gives us the green angles the same. Okay, and it turns out that all the red angles are, uh, up, the, the green angles are power over 2, I should have said, right angles. And the red angles are power over 4, all four of them. And that's pretty, I think it's pretty easy to see uh, from the shapes that we have here that that's the case. Um, these are both isosceles triangles both in taxi cab and in Euclidean geometry. And notice that they have all the angles matching up and two of the sides, and yet the last remaining side, this blue side here, is, is four long, whereas this red one is one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight long. And so they don't match up. So they've got almost everything to match up except for one side. Uh, so these satisfy the angle 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 condition, the side angle side condition, so angle angle angle, side angle side, two purple sides in the green angle. They satisfy the side side angle, side side, and then one of the the two purple sides and one of the one of the uh, 45 degree angles. Angle angle side, angle side, angle side, angle angle side angle, angle side, angle side angle. All those conditions are true, but that last remaining side is not congruent. So none of these conditions are going to be enough to give us, even these with, with five conditions, that's not enough to, uh, to make these triangles congruent. Um, and certainly any combination with just two, two things is not going to work. Now if we look at this other pair of triangles, um, let's see, um, GHI and K. L, J, okay, uh, G, H, I, let's see, J, K, L, in that order. Then they correspond, where G corresponds to J, K and H correspond, and L and I correspond. Now these satisfy the side-side-side condition plus another angle um, so, uh, is congruent. So you can see here pretty clearly this one goes up three, so that's a distance of three. This is distance of three here, so those two uh, maroon sides are congruent. The blue sides are congruent here. One, two, three, four, five for that. One, two, three, four, five straight up for that, so those are congruent. And the two orange sides are congruent as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for that one. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for this one. And so you see all of those corresponding sides are congruent, and they have an angle that's congruent as well. This red angle is a 45 degree angle or a power of four radian angle. Now, when you look at the other angles, however, and I've measured them, these green ones correspond, but they're not congruent. See that? Light green and dark green. And the light blue here and the dark blue here, they correspond, but they are not congruent. So, side side, those that example there knocks out the side 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 and side side angle side conditions um, so that's not going to be uh, enough okay 
to make them uh, to prove that we have congruent triangles. So in fact, there's only one condition that short of just knowing all six, which obviously that's congruent, if you get all six pairs to line up, by definition that's congruent, but there's one that's short of that, but it takes five things. Side, angle, side, angle, side. It takes all three sides and two angles. And then the, the proof of that one's real easy because the angle sum theorem still works in taxi cab geometry just like it does in Euclidean geometry. So once we have that theorem, then we can say, uh, in, in Euclidean geometry even, then we can prove that uh, once we know two angles are, are congruent in pairs, and that third pair of angles has to be congruent. And if we get the sides congruent as well, then the two triangles must be congruent. So that's the only way we can show triangles are congruent in taxicab without just showing all six pieces. Okay? And so, uh, in fact, there's basically nothing uh, that you have for triangle congruence theorems in taxicab geometry.